one thing to know, it's uh, what's uh, the status of the case. Uh, we have our lawyers, no? There are uh, two main points in the case. The number one is, will the case survive? filed by a public officer after the death of that public officer and before it has even been investigated. Ordinarily, if it is a civil case for recovery of property, sum of money, when the plaintiff, the one filing the case, dies or the defendant dies, then the case survives and the deceased is substituted by his or her heirs or successors to an interest. Now, uh, the question is, uh, in this administrative case where the uh, petitioner or the complainant is a public official and he dies, who can substitute him? Can he be substituted by an heir? No. He can be substituted by the successor of the public mission. Whether the successor will uh, maintain the same course of action or defense. Now, uh, in this case, the successor uh, of the vice governor who died did not substitute the uh, deceased vice-governor, in this case, uh, vice-governor uh, Greg Sanchez. So that is a, a, a legal point. But I think the more serious uh, flaw in the case is that it has been pending for two years. And under the local government code, I would like to refer you to section 66 from a notice of decision. The investigation of the case shall be terminated within 90 days from the start thereof. In other words, the investigation must be finished within 90 days. Within 30 days after the end of the investigation, the office of the president or the Sangunian concerned shall render a decision in writing stating clearly and distinctly the facts and the reason for such decision. Copies of the decision, decision shall immediately be furnished the respondent and all interested parties. Now, uh, the investigation in this case was uh, terminated. This was filed in 2010 after the election and uh, the, the investigation uh, was terminated on August 31st, 2011. Now under the law, the office of the president should have decided the case within 30 days from the end of the investigation. Was that done in this case? No. Actually, the decision was rendered on December 17, 2012, or 474 days after the uh, investigation was uh, terminated. This is a provision of the law. And no person is above the law. So when uh, the decision was uh, handed down, the authority to render the decision, which the law uh, fixed at 30 days after the end of the investigation, uh, was not done. And uh, we suspect that the decision 
was postponed in order to time with the election today and the date of the election. Because if, let us say, uh, after August 31 of 2011, uh, in September, the end of September 2011, uh, the decision would have been rendered or should have been rendered. And if it was decided in accordance with the provision of the law, then the six months uh, uh, suspension would have expired in 2011. Oh, no, no, on early 2012. And uh, she would have been reinstated. Sir, what is the status of the legal remedies that you have resorted to? Oh, well, not yet, not yet, not yet. We have our uh, lawyers, I don't know, so we will get some update from them in the time. Sir, was this uh, provision you cited in the law submitted? Uh, yes, I believe so. The lawyers have, uh, the lawyers have raised this point. So. Uh, yes, uh, that was the point we have raised, is whether uh, this provision of the law uh, could be uh, disregarded. In our country, no one is above the law. Um, when you were governor, this has never happened to you. What is your sentiment of this situation, uh, being the father of governor? Of course, Bruce? I am saddened at the turn of events. And to think that it was uh, handed out and, uh, well, publicized uh, uh, during Christmas time. 